Okay, what we have here is a DVOM, digital volt ohm meter, or basically a multimeter. I'm going to show you some finer points on this one. This one actually was one of them that I, I gave out like 18 of these when I first started RV Diagnostic Facebook page. Okay, now when you get your own multimeter, I want you to be aware of a couple things. You see this word unfused right here. Well, that's exactly what it means. There's not a fuse inside. That means you're going to burn something up. I'll show you later a set of leads right here. I believe I showed you on one of the Gerard awnings, the multimeter lead. But you see this? This is just a wire. And does not have a fuse in it. I would ask you to get a set of multimeter leads later on on Facebook RV Dinos because I'll put the lead set and part number for you. But right now let's get back to the meter and how it works. One, it's unfused. You want to get one that says fused. This is your common which would be your negative chassis or negative the battery. Now that's key on engine off. That means that the engine's not running. If the engine's running, your best ground is the case of the alternator. I'll tell you why later. Now this right here, as it says, is maxed fused 500 milliamps. Alright, unfused is 10 amps. Well, I would like to see them both fused. Alright, now the other one is volts, ohms, the upside down horseshoe, and milliamps. So that's this red jack. This is your common, which is the negative, or the chassis, or the negative of the battery. And this is your amp, 10 amps maximum. Alright, now we're going to do something. We're going to turn it on. Notice this scale right here has a V with a dot and a solid line. That's DC voltage. This side has the V with a little squiggly line. That's your AC voltage. Okay? So it only has 200 and 600. Your basic AC voltage for your RV and house is 120. I know a lot of people say 110, but it's 120. Now on your DC, you can go 200 millivolts, 2, 20, which is where you would be testing your 12 volt system on and he had even has a 200 and a 600 this little cheap meter right here has a backlight so I'm going to turn it on all right we're going to put it down on remember the horseshoe right which is right here ohms ohms so we go all the way down to the 200 scale okay and watch this. Hit this little backlight. She lights up. Alright. Now this says 1.66.6 right there. So I'm going to turn that off to save the battery. Yeah, I was turning it off. There you go. I'm going to turn it off. Back on. Now I'm going to tell you how to test your leads, okay? First thing to do is put your red probe in the volt ohm, volt ohm, the horseshoe, and milliamp jack. Now you put the common in, which is the black lead, okay? Now watch. What we have here right now, between these two leads, is and open. You see that? They're open. And look at the re reading on the meter. Now I'm going to put them together and you're going to read. Alright, so the leads together are half ohm. Notice they are together. That means a complete circuit has been obtained. See right there I'm touching. Now let me show you something else. The reason why you have these little bayonets on the end 
right here is you don't want your finger to go past this. You don't want to touch this while checking AC voltage or DC or ohms. You want them up here, your fingers. These are finger guards. All right, they protect you from a live circuit. And also notice right in here this little detent. That's so you can lock it on like a bare wire watch now. Put it down here. We'll go for a bare wire test. Alright, see? Okay, I'm having a hard time doing all this. See how it grabs? It grabs and locks in right there on that little see right there. They're locked in. You can hear it lock in. That helps you when you're testing the AC voltage on a bare wire. Alright, so let's say you turn your meter on and you see OL, right? OL. That's out of limits, see it? It's definitely out of limits. It's beyond 200 ohms right here. I'll take her all the way up to 2 mega ohms, 2 million ohms, see? It's open circuit right here. Now, you're going to test your leads. You put them together. Right there, you go zero 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 point zero 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 ohms back to 200. Okay, so we got about 0.6 of an ohm on these leads. Now, I'm gonna show you something else. Ready? Let's say you did this, you touched them together, and you got that reading, which is open. How you know what lead was bad or the meter? Well, what you would do is you take black lead out you would take your red multimeter lead which is still in and you're going to test this right here notice now how it said 0.4 so that would prove to you that your black lead was bad or if I put it in the hole and I still got one infinity see the one on the left then I would go oh let me test my black lead now all this is going to be done before you test your circuit. Okay, look, I stick it in a black hole. I go, oh my God, I got a bad red lead. So there you go. I would have had bad readings the whole time and I'd have misdiagnosed or I'd missed troubleshoot something and changed something I didn't need to. All right, once again, thank you very much. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics and I'll continue this meter testing later. You just learned how to test your meter before you use it.